Hey everybody, welcome back to Off the Trail. If you've ever had a loud screeching sound coming from your AC condenser unit, it may mean that the fan motor needs to be oiled. That's what we're going to do today. Stay tuned, we're going to oil your AC condenser fan. The tools we're going to be using for this job is going to be a syringe with some type of needle at the end of it and some type of tool lubricant. For safety reasons, you're going to want to shut off the main breaker to your condenser unit. You should have a panel on the outside of your home that looks like this. Remove the white plug. The breaker box should then look like this. This should ensure that you have no power going to the unit. You may also want to shut off the breaker inside your home. The top of the condenser unit is going to have several small screws holding the top plate in place. These are the only screws you're going to need to remove for this project. Go ahead and proceed to remove the screws and make sure that you don't lose any of them because you're going to need to put them all back in when the project's over. There should be approximately 8 to 10 screws around the perimeter of the top of the condenser unit that are going to be removed for this project. Go ahead and lift the top of the condenser unit and you'll see that the fan motor is attached to the lid. That's what we're going to be concerned about here. We're not going to be concerned about anything else inside the condenser unit at this time. Go ahead and prep your syringe, get some oil in there so that you're going to have enough to lubricate the approximate four to six ports on the bottom of the fan motor. These small holes next to the screws on the bottom of the fan motor is where you're going to be applying the oil. Go ahead and stick the syringe into those holes and apply an amount of oil to each hole. After you've applied the oil to each hole, go ahead and close the condenser unit back up. It really is that simple. Be sure to reattach the condenser unit lid with all the screws that we removed earlier. Reset your inside breaker and your outside breaker box so that it should look something like this, so that you'll have power going back to your AC condenser unit. 